Hi, everyone. I'm Lloyd Gum. I'm the Global Director of Marketing with the Zappi Group. I'd like to welcome you, welcome you to this session. Please remember that the session is being recorded and will be available to watch on demand following the session. If you have any questions during this presentation, please add them to the Q&A. You can find that tab to the right of your screen. Note that your questions will be private. And with that, I would like to introduce our speaker. I'd like to welcome Luca Vezzadini, Applications Engineer at Zvan, part of the Charging Solutions Group at Zappi Group. He will be speaking about the importance of engineering vision in creating leadership in sustainability and innovation. Thanks for being here today, Luca. Please start. Thank you for the introduction. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me in this presentation. And my name is Luca Vezzadini. I'm an application engineer here in Zevan. My role is to support electrification for non-road mobile machinery and on-road vehicle application. And today, it's a pleasure to talk to you about engineering vision in sustainability and innovation leadership. So, but first of all, let's introduce Zevan. Who is Zivan? Zivan is the pioneer in industrial high-frequency battery charger technology, in which the main sector are material handling, AWP, construction equipment, and other industry. All our product has been designed and manufactured internally. Our target is to offer sustainable, efficient, and robust charging solution. Zivan is part of Zappi Group. Zappi Group is the global electrification leader with a highly integrated product portfolio, which include motion controller, electric motor, high frequency battery charger, and autonomous navigation software, all for full electric hybrid vehicle to all OEM around the world. Zappi in this in all the year has become synonymous of reliability, quality, and innovation in particular in the electronic solution landscape. So Zappi Group represented the engineering vision toward the global transition to all electric. So today we are in an area defined by unprecedented challenges and opportunity. So the intersection of sustainability and innovation has become the crucial for engineering vision. So the agenda covers the following topics. The first is the trend behind engineering vision, vision to all electric call to action, in which we delve into the sustainability strategy, innovation trend, and global collaboration, which are the guiding principle for engineering vision. We have to remember that the innovation is in our life road and that no leader stand alone at the end, in the next step, we challenge bigger dream and we focusing on in the non-road mobile machinery influencing future trends. So in today, rapidly evolving technology landscape. So uh, we have to understand the trends behind engineering vision that is a paramount. So the main key teams of engineering vision leadership are representing First of all, from the futuristic thing. In this case, uh, we have to think about, for example, the renewable energy or the artificial intelligence. Or if we go in deeper in our sector, so in particular in non road mobile machinery, OEM are developing electric power construction equipment or precision agricultural machinery, utilizing advanced sensor and automation. Second is the sustainable target. So sustainable target from reducing carbon emission, so to promoting circular economies and the commitment to the electric vehicle. In this case, we can think about Tesla in the automotive sector or Caterpillar and Volvo for the non-road mobile machinery. We have to also think about the global perspective. In this case, it's important to cite the local decision so local decision can have far reach consequences. For example, in this case, if we think of the global response to the COVID-19 pandemic, where the collaborative efforts across border were essentially taking the crisis. 
continuous learning. So company, for example, like Google, so push their employer to spend 25% of, of their time to dedicate to pursue personal project, fostering an environmental continuous learning and innovation. Last but not least is to challenge every time the process. So pioneers like Elon Musk constantly change the traditional approach, which can be in the space or in the transportation industry. So pushing the boundaries of what is possible. So the global trends, if we talk about the global trends, the first of all is the leadership commitment, leadership commitment in reducing carbon emission, which is the driving force behind achieve this target. So the commitment of the major equipment manufacturers is to produce low or zero emission machinery. So the peak shows the roadmap to a greener, smarter future in the complete all supply chain, which does not only include the green design and energy, but also green distribution, production, environmental friendly network, all in the 5.0 manufacturer industries. So leadership commitment means turn into the industry transformation. So it means to embracing new technology and sustainable practices. So as shown, the evolution, evolution from traditional combustion engine, for example, to electric or to hybrid and to alternative fuels vehicle, but not only, also with renewable energy sources. So with green logistic, logistic, we are not delivering only goods, but also a brighter and a higher plan for the future generation. One key target point is the sustainable finance, which is represented by financial institutions and investors that increasingly recognize the importance of supporting environmental responsibility initiative. So policies that include tax credit and financial incentives to reduce the high cost and the ownership of electric vehicle product and offering together with the public and private partnership the development of electronic vehicle charging station that are off grid with renewable energy and power supply. So compliance and certification. So machinery meets the stringent environmental requirements set by authorities of the worldwide. So certification is become a testament to our dedication to sustainability, providing assurance to the customer and partners. So this is our commitment to a sustainable and quality. So compliance and certification across several steps, including life cycle assessment, SCA, development and publication of an environmental product declaration or APD. Last but not least is the social equity. Social equity lies at the heart of the sustainable development goals, meaning fostering diversity, promoting fair labor practices, and contributing to the well being of the community, having access to the same opportunities and fundamental rights. So, in the peaks, we can see the process start that starts from the production change crossing the product and the value chain organization and concluding with the system change. The vision of all electric future inspires innovation, policy change and investment, but also collective commitment. So talking about the global sustainability strategy, the global sustainable key teams revolve around international agreement, environmental initiative and economic policies. The first is the global Paris agreement, which is an international treat on the climate change, which is signed from 196 parties at the COP21 in Paris in 2015. 
and underscore the global commitment against the climate change. The goal is to hold the increase in the global average temperature below the two degrees above pre-industrial level. It works on a five-year cycle of increases ambitious climate change. One of the key topics here is represent of nationality determined contribution. So these are individual targets and strategies to reduce greenhouse gas emission. Enhance transparency framework countries report transparently on the action taken and the progress in the climate change mitigation, adaptation measure, and support provided or received. One of the targets is by 2030 that zero carbon solution could be competitive in most of the many sectors. Second important deal is the European Green Deal, which is unveiled in 2019 and appear to be the largest and most ambitious integrated program of reform, investment and research that ever conceived by European Union. So it is developed as a 30 year action plan, which is focused on the energy transition, circular economy, stopping pollution, digitalization, and interconnection of the European energy market. This assure to ensure to equal access to energy for all. And the global target is to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. In this case, the financial arms of the Green Deal is to provide at least 1 trillion in sustainability investment over the next decade. Partly is coming from Europe budget, partly from financial instruments like InvestEU and partly from private sources. Then in, when moving to US, the global sustainable strategy is the infrastructure investment and the job acts also known as a bipartisan infrastructure law, is provide a robust funding for energy infrastructure and energy efficiency program, in particular in building, public transportation, decarbonization of every tracking and industrial sector. This allowed to put investment in power and grid infrastructure. And it's also important to cite the SIPs and the Science Act where innovation in addressing global challenges, approximately 250 billion for the next five-year plan to support semiconductor research, investment, scientific research, technology, education, training, and manufacturing. So the Transatlantic Initiative on Sustainable Trends, Trade is led by 75 countries, European and US-based. The idea is to cooperate on regulatory approach for greener goods and technology development of new standard centers for the consumer perspective and enhance the level of consumer protection. This initiative share commitment to fostering trade, not only benefits for our economies, but also protect our planet and uplift our communities for a more equitable and resilient global economy. We can also cite the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. <clears throat> the purpose is to accelerate economic growth, social progress and cultural development. And one of the main key points is the environmental sustainable cities. In this case, we can cite the total saving of almost 500 terawatt hour by 2030. The reduction in electricity demand could prevent the need of 44 power plants building and the CO2 emission saved from this reduction will be approximately 67 million tons per year by 2030. So in non-road sustainability strategy, the initiative underscore our commitment to reducing emission and enhancing sustainability in non-road mobile machinery. So the zero emission powertrain is the driver for product competitiveness, increase the value of the end product. 
So advances like in battery technology has significantly improved to the feasibility and the performance of electric powertrain. Zero emission, no road mobile machinery can also have a total cost of ownership advantages over the, over the conventional combustion engine. So evaluating the supply chain of each component, this allowed to spread the zero emission culture, not only to the final customer, but also to all the supplier, increasing the zero CO2 value of the end product. So the push toward the zero emission, now we are in the ending of the stage five. So this is the first CO2 target, which is set for 2030, while the CO2 neutrality is set for 2050. So in non-road mobile machinery, post stage five, the regulation can be based on Euro 7 approach, which is a possible scenario, or US type five, to be based on on-road regulation. Especially in the city noise, it seems that is increasingly critical and negative impact on the air that has been shown. So market sector, we see that electric excavator, loader, agricultural machinery are becoming increasingly prevalent. So moving from prototype to full electric production in particular, the picture shows the end prototype phase of electric construction and mining vehicle and the challenging phase in agriculture sector. So the demand is not only driven by environmental regulation, but also by industry stakeholders that recognize the long-term economic benefit. Here, the graph show that the battery market share where almost the 50% of the electric component market is shared from the battery pack, followed by the battery thermal and the BMS, and concluding with the motor, inverter, and onboard charger. So this indication is important to understand the role of battery pack in electrified vehicle, relative partnership, and collaboration. So, exploring the non-road mobile machinery innovation strategy, the key technology decisions are focused on the market to strategy, which represent a paradigm shift. So, non-road mobile machinery is not merely respond to market demands, but it's actually shaping the markets through a careful strategy. So the target is to exceed the cost and the supply of the battery, but not only, also the lacking of the charging infrastructure and the limited green addition on the grid. So moving from the transition to the concept to green solution, where the focus is not only just an addition, but on sustainable practices. So, which means that every step is guided by a commitment to creating machinery where the target must be zero emission, which must be applied to all supply chain. So starting from power generation to the vehicle, enhancing a quality life for all. So last but not least point is from our architecture to engineering design. So the electric electronic architecture is based on the voltage level, 48, 600, 800 volt, and the battery pack. So battery, other important topic is the battery chemistry, LFP or NMC, but is also important the C rate and the lifetime. Other components like electric drive, so key topic are e-motor technology, speed range, and thermal integration. Concluding with the vehicle architecture, which is based on the dimension and on the shape. On the right peaks, we can see a standard layout of electric vehicle, where the brain 
is the vehicle control unit, which is able to manage all the other electronic components, which can be the battery pack, BMS included, onboard charger, DC DC converter, and inverter. But at the forefront of non road mobile machinery, zero emission endeavor, there is the implementation of innovation battery architecture. So the choice is a trade off between energy density, lifespan, faster charging capabilities, safety, chemistry, which also include the availability of the cell, modularity, shape, and cost. On the right image, we can see that the LFP, LTO, and MC technology are the typical battery technology used in the mobile heavy duty application. While if we are thinking, for example, about the phone, we can find SEO or NCA. So hydrogen, hydrogen fuel cell technology. This is always tough as the fuel of the future in which a wide range of application as electronic device, residential and commercial building will use to power machinery with the minima, minimal environmental impact. But what is a fuel cell? A fuel cell is an energy conversion that continuously converts a chemical energy into a fuel, <coughs> sorry, in a fuel into electronic electrical energy, as long as the fuel and the oxygen are available. When we talk about the hydrogen fuel cell, one of the key product is the water which is the more generation process in hydrogen fuel cell. So the advantages are the zero emission and the potential for rapid refueling. Currently, there are some drones, like for example, durability, safety, storage, and system integration, and cost are still high. So these are the focus area of the fuel cell vehicle developers. In particular, in these peaks, we can see the difference between the diesel and the fuel cell system, where, for example, the combustion engine is substituted from the battery, hydraulic pump and main control valve from fuel cell, DC-DC converter, DC bus and power electronics, or the throttle valve and the hydraulic motor from the dc ac converter and the electric motor itself. So, it's also important to cite the biofuel, which are derived from all renewable sources like plants or algae or synthetic fuel. So non road mobile machineries is commitment to exploring and implementing solutions that are aligned with this vision of cleaner and greener future. Currently, the main renewable fuel cell alternatives are the biodiesel, which can be blend or pure biofuels, pure vegetable oil, and biomethane. So picture here summarize the diesel situation and the near future like electric vehicle and the forceable future, which includes hydrogen fuel and alternative fuel. So the right picture show what are the zero emission power source just mentioned, and how they communicate, for example, with the CAN bus, which implements driver train, auxiliary, and board of the net supply. So, but what are the non road technology trend focusing, enhancing on performance and embracing digitalization? So, the integration of connectivity and telematics system are. So we know that the information is the power and the connectivity is the key to unlocking unprecedented levels of efficiency and performance. So machinery can be monitored in real time, enable predictive maintenance, optimize fuel consumption, but also monitoring battery charger level to managing the temperature, to maintain the optimal battery health and the vehicle performance. Then also we move from the 2G legacy telematics gateway, which include basic computing 
and processing and now we are improving and we are approaching the intelligent telematics gateway that now is still based is basing on the artificial intelligence acceleration so here we can see an autonomous and a precision operation so which is based on several information so includes what mapping localization which could be the slam controlling instruction and machine learning technique so no road mobile machinery so through acquired data can operate with heightened precision minimize error work safely and maximizing efficiency reducing what the number of autonomous and dangerous task for the operator so on the right we report an example of autonomous open pit mine where vehicle can drive autonomously in the joint fences area loading location and communicates to each other and with the base station so the last trend technology is the blockchain so blockchain is the key player in transparency security and efficiency so blockchain is a layer for establishing data immutability so entity can build their application around reliable data so blockchain works with multiple nodes and a policy centralized authorities so network can perform its operation as long as there is a single available node it's important to cite the mobi so mobi is the mobility open blockchain initiative which is a group of leading industry members which is developing blockchain standard with the aim of rendering transportation more efficient equitable decentralized and sustainable everything preserving the data privacy of the user in the pics that we report is shown how blockchain based interaction and transaction platform works on practical example for example here we can cite the parking the electric recharge the smart vehicle to everything through international of things platforms so when we talk about global collaboration the not road global application is among every nation industry and stakeholder because innovation innovative solution drives the progress toward a greener and more sustainable future for all so non road mobile machinery oem understand that to affect meaningful change it's necessary strategic partnership collaboration acquisition represent the paramount so oem are focusing on partnership or acquisition for example in the battery pack manufacture in this case it's important to cite for example yamaha with leo cnh with microvast john deere and tricycle but also many other so we also would like to cite the low volt dc volvo protocol so the ambition is to facilitate and to accelerate the electromobility transformation by helping the wider industry create a more charging solution so for this reason <coughs> volvo itself opt to publish their own software protocol as well as the plug specification so that all the other OEM but also the supplier can use it in the development of their own charging solution everything moving to all closer to establish an industrial standard so if the assist side connector is based on the main of each country in which type 1 type 2 and gbt represent the global standard and for the dc high voltage is covered by ccs type 1 and type 2 chadem or, or gbt again the low volt standard battery connector for industrial charging is still not yet defined therefore german created the dean and would commitment in which the draft name for now is lico 
In this commitment, it's also important to cite that main player of the market are present. In this case, also Ziva. So, but non-road mobile machinery is also glad to announce the ambitious target to reduce greenhouse emission. For example, through the science-based target initiative. In this case, the first step is the commitment in which you have to submit a, lit a letter establish your intent to send a site-based target. The second one is the development. So work on an emission reduction target in line with the SBTI criteria. Third is the submitment. So present your target to SBTI for official validation. The fourth is the communication. So announce your target and inform your stakeholder. And the last is the disclosure, so report company wide range and track target progress annually. So in conclusion, the next step in the non-road mobile machinery involve driving future trends with a focus on zero emission vehicle, sustainable key performance indicator <coughs> and sustainable finance. So non-road mobile machinery influencing future trends, prioritizing the adoption of electronic, electric, sorry, and low emission technology. So the increasing the number of zero emission vehicle, in particular, are report in this peak. So the peaks show the focus is in the electric battery for small ton vehicle. Why, if we are talking about the big ton vehicle, the trend is moving toward fuel cell which means electrifying a large number of construction excavator with loader kisty and improving to the recharge. <clears throat> so everything must work if we making sure that they work with the same standard, both if we are talking about electric or both if we are talking about fuel cell. So sustainable key performance indicator, so the KPI, these serve as a guiding matrix. So the true, the true progress is measurable, sustainable through KPI. For example, in this case, we can cite energy consumption, efficiency, CO2 saving, TCO, user benefit that are becoming the new standard for the electric vehicle. But this is allowed only if sustainable investment must be allocated toward environmentally and friendly project, but also innovation. So an example, we report here an example in, in which the charging station is supplied with renewable energy, the grid capacity, but also the end of life management. <laughs> so global rule has become more and more mandatory. So summarize what we see today. So today we navigate through the commitment trend to the global zero emission target in which new technology, collaboration and new economy underscore the future. The future progress is synonymous of sustainability. So we have to remember that every decision that we made today is chosen in tomorrow's generation. So I would like to thank you all for watching and I'm available for any question. Thanks, Luca. That was a really compelling presentation. Um, you know, I think you brought a nice tie from um, engineering vision and technical competence, um, you know, coupled with the purpose that our industry broadly and Zappi Group shares, um, the purpose being broadly sustainability. So. Um, I like seeing that linkage. That was, I think, very useful. A um, couple of specific questions uh, related to the presentation. Um, it was fairly clear, but maybe you can elaborate with some more examples or add some more, you know, color of what we're seeing on the NRMM perspective regarding the importance of strategic partnerships, collaboration, and acquisitions as a part of broadly hitting goals. So yeah, this is a very good question. So 
today in non-road mobile machinery, so the trend is very clear. I mean, we see OEM, like we can cite, for example, Caterpillar, Volvo, Magnitude, but also other, in which they want to push and to, to be the leader in zero emission vehicle, which is not only focused in the, let's say, which they are only not only focused on the, they are focused on not only on the end vehicle, but in all the value chain in particular. So it's, it's essential to actually force on the strategic partnership. So what we see that collaborative effort, and this is important to consider strategic acquisition. So the collaborative approach allows what? That non-road mobile machinery to tap into a, a range of idea and capability. But the, the key topic is the accelerating of the product, of the progress, product progress and approach. So what we, what we need to speed up also, to, we have to speed up in the transition and increase the, the knowledge sharing this knowledge so minimizing the customization so that's why they are also establish partnership open the protocol define what are the charging standard and the plug compatibility so but why they also do it because this provides significant advantages to the end customer for example in this case we can think that with a single charger they will be able to recharge the entire fleet of their vehicle. All, clearly everything is electric. So regardless the brands and the type of vehicle. So the, this is the collet effort, which allows us to have a great impact on the future. So, so broadly, a part of the, um, your presentation, you talked about some companies um, basically opening up um, some standards that others can follow or agree to or discuss. I mean, this is some of the collaborative activity. I think, I think partly what you're saying, if I got it right, is um, everybody's pursuing their own goals. Yes, we're all competitive businesses, but we also have to share perspectives and broad KPIs and approaches um, for globally for us to be successful. Uh, would that be aligned with what you said exactly this is okay. totally correct. yeah we 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 see i think we all see this um and it's a challenge i think uh, non-road mobile machinery um, from a penetration of electrification point of view is behind some other sectors um probably automotive you know we've seen more evidence of things happening um but the non-road mobile machinery side is ramping up. We see evidence of it in a lot of different places. Um, and I think uh, your presentation really helps fill in some gaps for a lot of people um, on the technical side and uh, the connection to where we're trying to go. Um, one other question that popped up uh, on the Q&A um, is specifically about the role of blockchain technology, um, also related to non-road non-road mobile machinery, and you know the overall overall pursuit of uh, security uh, and efficiency. Could you comment further on that? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, but what is first of all blockchain? Blo blockchain acts as the layer that ensures data immutability. So allowing entities to construct their application around what reliable data with trustless environment. But what is the real key target of the sustainability of the blockchain is to keep trace of the path of the product. So this is ready as soon as one single node is available. So if we are able to collecting data to verify the reliability, so source in place of origin of the product. So for example, if we think our end product, we can simply with, for example, a QR code, we can know everything of this product. So everything of the supply chain, 
<coughs> everything is immutability as soon as one single node is available. And also, it's important to, to cite that uh, I, I read some study that has found that the majority of uh, the customer of the, the, the people are willing to pay more, to pay a premium for a green product in which they also know all the story. So the blockchain allow us to secure and to transparent foundation and enabling the development of this data integrity. So everything as soon as one single node is available. This is really, really important. Makes sense. Thank you for that. Uh, we didn't have any other questions um, on the Q&A. So uh, just to wrap up, I'd like to uh, thank you for taking time out of your day and sharing your perspectives, very helpful. Um, and for the audience, um, thank you for attending the session. Uh, you can join further sessions from the lobby. Um, and thank you again, Luca, I appreciate your time. And we see you've left con contact information there, which is also helpful for the audience. So thank you very much.